Hey y'all and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, it is Lana Michelle here and today I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day. I am vegan and gluten free and nut free and people think I just eat like leaves so I'm gonna show you what I eat. It's not always healthy. But yeah, get into it. Yeah, get into it. So first I'm gonna make a smoothie. I like smoothies from like tropical smoothies. So I'm gonna make one at home. I decided to do a strawberry limeade. I just kind of forgot to mention that. making lunch it is like 2 11 because I got up late and decided to eat breakfast at like 12 so it's 2 11 and I'm gonna make some lunch I'm gonna make um, these chickpea meatballs and pair that with the peas that we had yesterday and some rice so for this meal I start with getting all the seasonings that I need out Next, I'm gonna pour my chickpeas and drain them, and then I'm gonna rinse those off, get all the juices off, and then I'm gonna put them in the blender to blend. After your chickpeas are the right consistency, which are just a little bit off of mush, you smash them together and then add in all your seasonings, including your breadcrumbs. After you put your seasoning in, make sure to mix them up really well. I added a little bit more than I showed, just like season it to your taste. And then you're gonna put oil on a piece of foil and rub it around. I used a paper towel because I think it works better. Then I'm gonna make my chickpeas into balls. You can make them as small or as big as you want. And then you're gonna put them on the oven at the 350 temperature that you put your oven on before. I'm gonna set my timer to 20 minutes, but these cook for about 20 to 30, just depending on how crunchy you want them to be. After a little over 20 minutes, I took them out because they were as brown as I wanted them to be. Super delicious. Hey y'all, I've showered and did a workout. So for dinner, I'm gonna be making Thai food and my mom's gonna be assisting me. So to go along with my Thai food, I'm gonna also have some cauliflower bites which are like chicken nuggets but they're like cauliflower after prepping your sliced onions and garlic you're gonna put them in and saute them After rinsing your cauliflower, you add all your seasonings to it because the flour that I add does not have any seasoning at all and if you don't use seasoning, it'll be super bland. Next, you're gonna put your mixed vegetables in with your sauteed onions and garlic. 
and then after they're all placed in you're going to put the top on it and then let it turn it to low now back to the cauliflower you're going to fry them so you're going to put them in a bag and then you're going to place your flour all in there and get them all mixed up which is a part that i did not show Next, you're going to put your pad thai noodles in some boiling water and cook them according to the box. After your pad thai noodles are completely done, you're going to drain them and add them to your mixed vegetables. After that's done, you're going to make your sauce. So the sauce that I'm making is a mixture of sweet and tangy because I add because of the ingredients that I add. Um, so for your sauce, you're going to use it for both your um, cauliflower bites and your pad thai noodles and all of that all those vegetables so you're going to want to make a good thick amount a thick batch and i i would suggest making two different ones so that you know which one is for which while i was making the sauce and the pad thai noodles were cooking my mom made the cauliflower bites and fried them and they look perfect just like chicken nuggets after that, we made a cornstarch flurry, which is cornstarch and water, just so that we're gonna add that to the sauce and it's gonna thicken it up and that'll just give it a great consistency. This sauce is a sauce that I made for the cauliflower and you'll see another cornstarch flurry that we put in there. And then you're gonna add, you're gonna let that simmer and then you're gonna add that to the cauliflower and mix it all together and it gives you a great like chicken, orange chicken look. And now it is all done, it looks gorgeous, it tastes amazing, and I would 10 out of 10 recommend. Thank y'all so much for watching, that's all I have for y'all today. I honestly feel like I ate too much, which is so weird because like, I don't know. But I usually don't eat like three meals out of the day. And yeah, I'm currently... My stomach hurts, so that's nice. I hope y'all enjoyed this because it was like fun to make because I like I like food. Like, comment, subscribe, share. We're trying to grow, we're trying to be big. You know, boom, boom, pow. Okay, that's actually all I have for y'all. Peace out.